Hey everybody, Gameplay4885 here. Welcome to another League of Legends video gameplay. Today I am playing as a support Thresh. Screw that sweeping one, I'll never have the use for it. I'm playing as support Thresh with my sexy skin here. If you notice, we have a Diamond Yasuo, and a Platinum Welcome Jinx, Platinum Rengar, Rift. and Platinum Trondle. Interesting. Uh, so we'll see how well we do. I simply know because of the frame thing. So anyway, Thresh is a ranged support, AD carry, and tank hybrid champion. He's pretty sweet. I'm using the deep terror Thresh. So, good news, we do have some fairly strong stuff. Um, okay, Blitz failed his gro grab there. Um, yeah, Yasu probably should not do that. Yeah, let's, uh, let's back off. For a little. They do have Blitzcrank, so I'm kind of worried they're going to you know, grab him for him. So many flavors. Okay. They're gone. I suppose. Potentially, I can really just stay here, and if they do grab me, I simply hook over to the Golem and pull myself over. Um, hopefully. They did waste their exhaust, which is really, really good. So, um, I usually start with Thresh's Q ability, um, which is called Death Sentence, I believe. You, yeah, Death Sentence. As you can see, it kind of is a skill shot if it lands on an enemy. It will stun that target and pull it towards Thresh. Cannot pull enemies through walls, though. Uh, Thresh can then reactivate the ability while he is collect connected to the target, in which he can jump over to it. It's pretty useful. Uh, I saw me do that there. I don't do that every single time I'm... Trying to help the jungler. Um, so, yeah, it's very useful. Um, Thresh's passive is called Damnation. Um, I think it was called. Yeah, Damnation. When an enemy unit dies nearby Thresh, they have a chance of dropping a soul. Uh, large minions, large monsters, and champions have a 100% chance of dropping souls. However, this is if he is within a certain amount of range. Um, uh, this does, however, have a very long range, but this can work against them as it makes it very ineffective or bad to get a surprise gank on for Thresh, as people will be able to see the souls starting to pop up. So, still, yeah. So, sadly, we did not get first blood. Um, his W is called Dark Passage. It throws his lantern. And if he, which will leave an AOE shield to friendly units, including Thresh himself, as well as Vision, uh, if he throws it on a soul, he will collect the soul, uh, which is going to be very useful. So if you are getting zoned, it's very useful to take it up too. Um, can be used to pick up souls that are usually out of range for you, so you don't have to endanger yourself. Um, his. By the way, each soul increases his ability, power, and armor permanently by 0.75 uh, unit. By, point, by 0 0.75, which is very useful. Uh, his E passively charges up his next auto attack to deal bonus magic damage. Uh, based firstly on minimum uh, off of his total amount of souls collected, and then it builds up to a percentage of his maximum of his total attack damage. It starts at 70% at max, uh, or 80% at level 1, and increases to 200% at level 5, making him very effective as an assassin in, towards the late game. Um, sort of. Uh, giving him quite a good amount of mixed damage. Um, I'll talk about his ultimate when I get it. Uh, he's not particularly good as, a ca as an AP caster, however, he can still do fairly well uh, as an AD carry, as or an AD assassin, more rather, as a tank, sort of, and as a 
uh, support, which is what I'm playing as. Meta is generally support. Um, he has slightly shorter auto attack range than other champions, having 475 instead of the regular 500, uh, which can be a problem, but anyway, Thresh's biggest strength is his massive crowd control, his very strong late game anti-physical um, type, and of course, his, and his massive crowd control, which I think I already mentioned, I'm doing this. Um, Oh, I'm getting some of that. Mm -hmm. So, yeah. I generally start... I, um... First items to... First ability to max, I would say... That Death Sentence and Dark Passage are by far the best. Which is his Q and his W. Max his Q if you're good at hitting them to reduce the cooldown. Uh, max W for shield amount and reduce cooldown. Um, you can't max E if you're about poking the enemy with your auto attack. So that's a bit risky. Though it can still work. Oh, the plays. I'm so good. Stay in range in case. Okay. That did have to be a flash. That really sucks. But, uh, so for that, it's good. It's good. It's, uh, it's still fairly good. And for that, so I can get those souls. Uh, also, a teammate can click on the lantern in which they will go over to it and, well, Jump over to Thresh. This allows Thresh to save teammates and gives him quite a lot of mobility. Having a dash for himself and a teammate is really strong. Plus, of course, all of his powerful crowd control. Almighty CC. Thresh is possibly my favorite, or at least my top th in my top three favorite it supports in the League of Legends. Overall. I really like it. Um, how I call it? SS. It's... I... Oh. So... Yeah. My starting items are generally uh, Ancient Coin, one ward, and two health potions. Sometimes, if I feel a little ballsy, I'll pick up more... Of course. So sadly I sniped the kill there, it's kinda of bad at my support. Yeah, they did get away. His lantern does have kind of a long cooldown. Ish at 18.05 at the moment. But it's still good. So that's medallion. I possibly should have bought the side stone, but whatever. We'll deal with it. Get my boots. And I... Well, I'll live at it. Okay, so... I noticed they placed a ward there. So, anyway. Thresh is, as I said, one of my favorite supports. Very strong crowd control. Becomes a secondary tank in the late game and in team fights. Engaging and having plenty of health and armor. Magic resistance is not particularly strong, though it's not really that with any champions. But he is still one of my favorites. Um, as mentioned, he is good as a hybrid tank and hybrid uh, AD carry. Though I see him a bit more as a AD... Um, assassin, necessarily, rather than a AD carry. He still does well as an AD carry, but I feel he's more of an assassin taking out an enemy. Oh. Him up. And there we have our, his ultimate. His ultimate is called the box. You do well. Uh, the box, when activated, Thresh will pull up a couple five walls around him. Any enemy champions. That. Any enemy champions uh, that hit the walls, one wall will destroy it. For them, the mass will slow and take magic damage. Very useful. Uh, the wall is broken though and cannot hit multiple champions by the same wall, though you have you know, several walls. So. Yeah. 
it still is good as um, a trap ability. What the hell is this? Uh, let's see if we can make something happen. <laughs> Blitzy doesn't have the damage to take on my... So, yeah. That's awesome. So, we're definitely winning. They have gameplay as jungler, alright. That's interesting. I don't really think he's that good of a jungler. I never really think about that. An enemy has been seen. There is. So yeah, let's grab a little bit of armor with cloth armor and that rejuven rejuvenation bead. Um. Generally for support items, I guess we can talk about those. You do have three that appeared in Season 4. You have... Uh, might as well check them out. It's the Spell Thief's Edge, Relic Shield, and an Ancient Coin. All of these are excellent items, generally for supports, uh, to grant you gold without having to kill minions. However, these do not um, limit you to only being able to use for supports. They can potentially be used for other champions. So the amulet coin will make it so an enemy minion that dies nearby of me will give me a small amount of gold. Currently it's 5, but that's because I have a master. So mid lane is... Well, Ziggs is doing great, but then he has Ziggs. He is like a poking champ. Um... As well as granting a good amount of health and mana regeneration. Um, these items can be upgraded three times. The second upgrade will grant more stats as well as more gold in the game. And. I have no idea how that meant, but whatever. Uh, and can be then upgraded to the third part, which always has an active ability, together with awesome. These are definitely based off of certain type of champions. The Rel the Ancient Coin works for all champions. The Stealthy's Edge grants gold to any auto-attack enemy champion, but does not work. Late! I am really bad, sorry. And I'm I'm I don't really know why I bothered flashing, but I so much crowd control. First I get stunned and pulled, then I get knocked up, then I get silenced. Didn't even get to use my ultimate. That sucks. Uh... Yeah. So, I definitely, I remember I did get a comment or so where a person was talking about how my sniffing was really annoying, and yeah, definitely is a bit gross, but it's kind of that one of those things that I'm kind of just forced to do, even though I don't really like doing it. It's kind of just a natural thing for me to do. I'm not entirely sure why I do it. It's just like... Getting them. We are getting this tower though. So, anyway. I'm not really gonna go back. I can't necessarily buy anything of real interest. So, then you have trinket items. These were also introduced in season 4, or rather, the three season of this. Yeah. 
Um, you have three trink- you have three different trinkets. Also, like the support items, can be upgraded three times. Um, two more, more powerful versions. Um, they are free to purchase. However, at level 9, they will automatically upgrade to a more powerful version. Uh, they will then be possible to upgrade through money, 475 gold, to make a very powerful, a really strong version, which is has more duration, more range, lasts longer. No, that's duration on these. Um, or, or something else. Uh, I'm currently using the Warden Trinket. The Warden Trinket is by far the most safe and secure version, and it's pretty much good with everybody. Um, the Warding Trinket, as the name pretty much says, it plays as a Warden. It's definitely a lot shorter than other wards. Uh, it starts at about 60 seconds. Uh, level 9 will upgrade to last for 120 seconds. And then it can be upgraded from money into two different things. It can be turned into a greater stealth totem, which simply places a regular 180 second uh, lasting ward. Um, which will have the skin, by the way that you're currently using or it can be upgraded to greater vision totem which will give you allow you to get a pink ward which now lasts forever but are constantly visible this does have a three minute cooldown though but still it's really really good i always take this pretty much oh what the hell I'm not entirely sure you probably should not go. It's too fast for us. Mm. I think I'm gonna be going together and go out mid lane. Um, so yeah, the pink ward does last forever. Uh, I usually, or rather very often, I like to just place Valley Pink Ward and place it somewhere around the map in a rush that's not usually like, in. So. There it often does end up last thing there for the rest of the game, which is kind of funny to me, and so I did get my money worth. Yeah, I didn't know that I was getting focused. Uh, okay. Uh, I think so you could probably get lost. Let's see. Nope, you're dead. Oh, nope, nope, no, no, she, she's too. Nope, you're dead. Okay. I think I'm gonna get upgrade my medallion into the almighty talisman of ascension. Um, yeah, I'm not particularly good with this guy stuff. I just kind of like to make my videos watchable or possible to see for pretty much everyone. LOL. Um, which is why I kind of just always explain the abilities. I'm pretty sure a lot of my viewers are probably like, well, this is kind of awesome stuff, you know. Kind of pointless for you to explain this. No. Well, whatever. Yay, AP Gangplank, the hell? Okay, Gangplank's going AP, that's interesting. So, yeah, I'm not doing too bad, but I'm not doing fantastic. I definitely done my good a good job as a support, got my Jinx to 5 and 1. Just like, 20, in less than 20 minutes. Good. Oh. 
Schlau. So, yeah, we're definitely doing great. I'm not really doing a good job as a warder. Not really sure what the hell I'm doing not warding, but uh, Yeah, so let's see on their team they have Ziggs, Gangplank, Blitzcrank, and Yay to be in the ones with the most gold and money. Yeah, I think I'm gonna sell that red pot. And get my talisman. What is the talisman word? Ascension, uh, the active, the, pa the special stuff is you get an extra 20% cooldown reduction, that's really useful. As well as allowing you to activate it to give Shut you down. and your teammates, uh, nearby teammates, probably should back off to, um, increased. I'm not entirely sure what these things are, but whatever. Um, give maximum new speed, basically, it's pretty easy. Oh, okay. So yeah, so I have 84 souls collected, which gives me 63 extra armor and ability power. Um, yeah, sure, I can place a ward here. And ward Baron Nasher. There you go. I'm definitely not entirely happy about the removal of um, Oracle Elixir. It definitely annoys me a bit. Doing some work! Yes! Too bad we didn't get a Penta, but I don't, I don't care. I'm gonna get Mercury Treads, as I am pretty much a tank of this team. Get a Colonel. Might as well. Uh, what should my next item be? Oh, we do have a. Zeke's Herald is. Um. So, yeah, we are definitely winning. Uh, we have five kills ahead of them. That's really, really good. Um, we gotten two dragons, as far as I know. Two or three dragons. That's great. Um, Jinx is 10 and 1. Holy crap. Let's be got that water gun. Oh my god, I'm so proud of you. <laughs> so proud. Uh, I need to grow my pride. So, yeah, freaking awesome. Let's get up. Like that. Um, it's definitely cool that they already had a blue buff. It's gonna have blue buff. Um, it's good. Yeah, I'm definitely. Yeah. Now, I'm really, really happy about what Riot did with the support in Jungle World, because they were by far the ones that got the least money. Or at least the ones that do fall the far, the furthest behind, compared to all the other roles. Um, so let's try and help out Renji here. Uh, okay, so let's just randomly attack Baron. 
clear. I'm gonna drop my pinky down here. I just call him pinky. Gonna refresh that wall right there. Hey, what's up? <laughs> Got you. Oh shit. Holy crap. But yeah, the support and the jungle rolls were by far the ones that uh, fell the furthest behind and gobbled them on a gold. Um, compared to all the other rolls, um, I knew about this clearly because those were pretty much those are pretty much rolls I made, uh, as those are often the ones that are that are the least popular. Um, also support, and then again I'll go um, jungling, and a few times I will go top lane, mid lane, and. So we got Baron. That's awesome. Just let go. So I'm definitely gonna say I'm doing my work as a support just fine. As a support, your main wanting is to is this, of course. Uh, when people say that someone is bad or doing badly as a support and having, you know, like one in three, you know, then I just say, I'm not supposed to have kills, mate. Take a look at my support. So my current score is like four, five, and 12. That is a pretty good support score. For anyone else, that would be per. Per. So I'm like, oh, get black. And okay. So let's see what happens if I do that. Oh, so many shields. So many shields. It's kind of close. But we did it. Oh, yeah. That was pretty good. I probably didn't have to flash and help. GG, well played. So that was support fresh. Victory. And it did pretty well. Not gonna lie, I'm pretty happy with that. So if you enjoyed, feedback's appreciated. If you would like me trying different champions or different roles or something. I'm kind of bored, so I guess I'll take requests or something. And I will see you in my next episode. Or video. I'm not good with these. Bye.